Hello friends, assalamu alaikum. Today we have these amazing ladoos or energy balls full of only healthy ingredients, completely natural, there's no sugar, it's sweetened with dates and they're going to keep you full for a long time and they give you a boost of energy. So for this recipe you need some date paste that you can make at home. So you can take about 10 dates and blend them to get this date paste. We have half a cup of grated coconut, a cup of ghee, a half a cup of pumpkin seeds, a half a cup of walnuts, and some elaichi or cardamom powder. The first step is to make the corn flour roti. Oh, so we start off with two cups of corn flour and we're simply going to make this into a dough. You can add some salt. And we're going to add some water a little bit at a time just to bind the dough together. So add a little bit of water in the beginning and start to form the flour into a nice firm dough. So we're looking for a firm consistency so that we can make this into a roti or a flat bread. So by adding a little bit of water at a time, you're going to knead the dough in this kind of motion. So corn flour is not like regular wheat flour. It doesn't have gluten in it. So it doesn't hold, it's, it's not stretchy at all. So you have to be careful when you are making the the circular roti, you have to do it in a different way than a regular roti. You can also use a, a, a rolling pin, but the way we do it is like this. We do it with our hands. We simply press it between our fingers like this. And then we're going to press it and roll it in the palms of our hands slowly. So this can take a little bit of practice, but if you don't want to do it this way, go ahead and use a rolling pin. But this way is how they do it traditionally, and they have a lot of fun doing this. Once you have your roti ready and it's thin, you can go ahead and grease your pan with some ghee or some oil. And we are going to plop on our roti like this, just be careful not to break it. And also try to make it as thin as possible without it falling apart. It doesn't matter if your roti is not perfectly round because at the end we are going to break it up and we are going to blend it for our ladoo. So it doesn't matter if your roti looks weird or it's not a nice shape, it doesn't matter. So we're just going to um, cook that. And we are looking for it to be nice and golden brown like this and it's until it's fully cooked. It can take about three to four minutes for it to cook like this. And we are going to cook all of them. So this um, recipe makes about four rotis. And once your rotis are cooled down, you can break them apart. And I know it sounds silly that we had to make roti and now we are breaking it. But this is what makes these ladoos so yummy. So this adds a beautiful texture to our ladoos. So go ahead and break up your rotis, all of them, once they have cooled down. So make sure they're cool but not too cold. Now we're going to blend all our nuts and our cardamom powder together. We're going to just blend it into a coarse texture. You don't want to turn this into a nut butter, like peanut butter. No, that's not what we're looking for. Just blend it into a coarse texture. So it looks like this. Once you've blended that, you can add about half of your broken rotis. Or if your um, food processor is big, you can add everything together. But since ours is not that big, we're going to do it in two parts. So we're going to blend in the rotis like this.
Now we're going to add some of the ghee, so half of it, a few tablespoons. And we're also going to add in half of our date paste because we're going to add in the rest with the other remaining um, broken rotis that we still have left. So go ahead and blend that all together. This is a really healthy ladu. You know, usually ladus are full of lots of sugar, but here we have dates, we have nuts. So it's so, so yummy and healthy. You are probably not going to feel guilty after eating these. And they're going to feel give you a lot of energy and they are so yummy. You won't believe that there's no sugar in these. So go ahead and do the same thing with the remaining roti that you have left. And go ahead and also add in the remaining date paste and also some more ghee. You can use less ghee if you want, but the ghee really does add a beautiful flavor and texture to this. And I don't know about you, but I feel that ghee is very healthy. I think it's a healthy fat if you eat it in moderation, of course. So. A little bit of ghee is not too bad. It's healthy, I think. So go ahead and put that all together once it's all blended. And we're just going to blend it all with our hands just to make sure that all of the ingredients are evenly incorporated. And then you can go ahead and grease your hands with some ghee and turn these, shape these into little balls or little ladoos. And then you can coat them with the coconut shreddings and your ladoos are completely ready and ready to be enjoyed either with some tea or for sehri when you're fasting and i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you're going to try this out and do tell me if you try them out and i hope you love them as much as i do so with this i finished this video i hope you're having a beautiful ramadan remember us in your duas and have a beautiful beautiful day and see you next time